Okay guys, we are in Chichen Itza. We are going to visit the Mayan temple today. We are in Chichen Itza guys. The tickets to enter Chichen Itza are about $26 for the adults and the kids um, under 12 pay $4. And there is a permit that you have to pay for the GoPro, which is about $2. So not too bad. And now we have a guide. Our guide is Pablo and he's going to tell us a little bit more. <laughs> we told him he's going to be on our YouTube channel. so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go explore and he's gonna tell us a little bit of the history of Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza is a huge place. Mm -hmm. It has 25 square kilometers, mm -hmm. but only about 12% is open to the public. Okay. Most of the buildings there's in the jungle. Mm. It's not restored. Okay. But the most important building is open to the public. Okay. That we are going to so you cannot go in the in the one in the jungle. They don't let you go inside. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Have you been inside? Many, many. Times. Ah, many. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> UNESCO gives Mexico as a cultural heritage of humanity since December 1988. What does this mean? This place is not only for the Mayan or for the Mexican. It's for the whole world. This place belongs to all of us. We have to take care of it. And in the years 2007, it was named one of the new wonder of the modern world. Okay. Wonder of the modern world, but only the main temple. Welcome to one of the new wonder of the modern world. My name is Pablo Balan. Do you know what Balan means? No. Balan is a jaguar. Ah. Aguare, jaguars. For the Mayans, the jaguar is a god. <laughs> yes. It's a trono. It's a trono. It's a god. Mm -hmm. So, I speak 100% Maya. I was born two kilometers from here. <laughs> When I was 10 years old, I came to play football in We are in front of a temple, temple, but it is known as a pyramid or castle, castillo. But this is a temple of worship to a main god called Kukulkan. Kukul means feather, plumas, can, serpent, snake. Kukulkans mean feather snake. It's called Temple of Kukulkan because every March 21st, it's seen a shadow of the snake in the northern part. Uh, mm. Do you see the little face on top? Mm -hmm. yes. In the middle? That little face, it's a god. It's called Chak. Chak means, Chak means God of the rain. Very important to the Mayans to be able to plant their products. Yes. The most important products is the core, black beans, tomatoes, chilies, chocolate. Do you know what is the reason it was named one of the new wonders of the modern world of this temple? No. Because this temple is a solar calendar. Mm -hmm. It has four, four sides. Yes. North, south, east, and west. west. On each side, it has 91. 91 step. Okay. If we multiply 91 step times four. by four times four mm -hmm. is 364 days. <laughs> Plus the last temple on top to enter in the little room, there is one step more. It's 365 days a year. Then it's a solar calendar. <laughs> the Mayan worship the sun god. 
because the Mayan they were polytheistic. How many level can you see from the bottom to the top? No, nine exactly nine because there are nine gods in the underworld. Mm, okay. Nine nine platform plus nine platform eighteen. The Mayan made a calendar for 18 months for 20 days. Where they did see the 20 days, they saw it in the body. 5, 10, 10 15, and 20. 20. Now, if we multiply 18 months by 20, it's 360 days. <laughs> but it's missing 5 days. The Mayan made an additional month for five days. It's called Wayem. For the Mayans, they are days of bad luck, no good days. Five August to 10 August, those five days, they use to perform rituals, ceremonies, offerings. Because on this temple, nobody lived. The Mayan, they use it for rituals. The Mayan lived behind the building. Inside the temple, there is another smaller temple. Like this. Hmm. So, the big temple, the biggest, it was built in the year 700 after Christ. And the small temple, it was built in the year 400 after Christ. The big temple, it has 91 steps. The small temple, it has 65 steps. If we multiply 65 step times 4, 260 day again, because 260 day is the gestation of a mother's pregnancy, is when a baby is born. Mm. 260 day is 9 months, and the 9 months is the representation on this temple, the 9 level. The archaeologists found two thrones here, like two gods here on top. He found a jaguars and a chakmol. The chakmol represent the messengers, mensajero, mm -hmm. messengers okay. of the god. He say when it's going to rain or when a good harvest season comes. What do you think is under the temple? Under. What do you think is under? Um, well, you said there was another temple inside. Under, inside there is the other temple. Yeah. But under, under. Under. Uh, Beneath. What do you think is Gold? it? Gold? Or no, a circle? Uh, circle. Cenote. Agua. Agua. Oh. Agua. Water, it, water. It. Do you see it's open here? Mm -hmm. It's open. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, this open it, it's connected to the other cenote. Because here we have many cenotes. Hmm. 20 meters deep. Oh. How the Mayans built two temple on top of a cenote. Hmm. It's something incredible. Yeah. Not, not even the archaeologists, he don't know. The incredible, only three or five meters, meters supporting the temple. The temple. How is that sinking down? Imagine how heavy it is. Yeah, yeah because it. you had to realize at the time, the most important thing was, was the water. water. Yeah, I mean, you don't need food. If you have water, you're good. Hmm? Because you can actually grow food, right? Yeah. And they, where they built the temple, uh, on top of the yeah. water. We were really smart, right? Yeah. It was really cool. Smart. The baby, the calendar. They represent everything. They, okay, they were go, actually very go good mathematicians. I'm going to record the mommy that taking a picture of us. And something else is that if you read a bit of the history, it actually says that Mayans were actually very good at math. Yes. So when they built it, they were thinking, oh. This papagallo, it's called Quetzal. Quetzal bird. Mm. Do you see the color? Mm -hmm. Exactly the same color, it was painted the temple. Ah. Like this color. It's inside in the temple. Okay. A few minutes, we are going to wake him up. <laughs> they say that when you wake him up, he give it to you a lot of positive energy. And we're making the sound. Good 
He don't need to shout. Only speaking slowly, you hear you hear a kilometer around because on the full side it has the acoustic. So when you clap, the sound goes up. Yeah. Enter in the little room, yeah. bounces on the four wall, and it's coming down. It's like a guitar. Oh. Wow. Mm. So the sound makes contact on each step. Why? Because the staircase are very well aligned. Mm. Mm. Imagine how the Mayan engineer built the temple. Mm. Yeah. So the, wow. the Mayan is very smart. Oh, yeah. Mm. You speak Mayan, right? Yeah. You can, can you write? Too, or no? A little bit. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it not the same as like Spanish if you write in Spanish? No, it's completely different. Yeah. Is it like, is it kind of like, it's like you have to make symbols, right? Like, like hieroglyphics. Like, oh. like hieroglyphics. Like oh. hieroglyphics. Yes. Yes. Like, like the Chinese, similar. Mm -hmm. But oh. talking is easier. Yeah, <laughs> Chinese, you're right, it's like the Chinese. <laughs> But only the Toltec arrived here. <laughs> the fusion unit. They fused together. With the, yes. So when the at the moment the Mayan and Toltec they had already joined all together, they returned in this place, Mayan and Toltec, mm -hmm. and they built this temple. Okay. The this, warrior temple. This temple it was built by the Mayan and Toltec. Where's the evidence? The evidence, the round columns are of the Mayans and the square pilaster is for the Toltecs. Oh, because the, the Mayans sacrificed on the animals, but then when the tel tol Toltecs, Toltecs came, came um, sounds like the Aztecs, <laughs> um, and then the Alte Toltecs came, um, they they started sacrificing people, and I so did they did they pick the person or did they um, did the people did like someone say oh I want to be sacrificed okay. Um, and he said no. They would basically the shaman would pick. Would like I don't I don't think he said no. The shaman would like they would be all in like a group, and the shaman would pick one, um, and then they sacrifice. <laughs> oh wow! And and guess what? So they have two. So they so they say they were sacrificing the sacred cenote here, and they even sacrificing the one under too. Oh, because you said there was a mix of like sacrificing Toltecs and Mayans. Okay. Um. But they were okay that they were sacrificing their own people, and he was like, "Yes, they were okay." I was like, mm. <laughs> and, "And and they and they said also the shoulders, and like they had to pull away when they chose someone. It's like they had to like ah take them away. They're like, they would no, just go. I don't. They would just be like, oh okay, I'll sacrifice myself. <laughs> they they were, really thought it was a good thing. Yeah, and and I was, <laughs> that makes you think how many people die. I mean, were killed just to do this. The game is seven people. Seven on against each seven. Uh, seven. against seven. And then the captains and were on opposite seven. sides. Yes. And you would try to you have to hit the only ball. only the captain stay yeah. on top of this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Six the, players on the ground. And the captain would have to you have, you have to pass it to the captain. He could be on the score. But what are they trying to do? To put a ball through the hoop? Yes. 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 Yeah. Oh, it's it was a, the main game is only one and the point. Ball was four kilograms. Oh, it's like basketball. Yes. Like yes. the beginning of basketball. Yes. But you have to use only hip, shoulder, shoulder. And knee. And you the, cannot and touch any other ball. Ball. And the no ball was four kilograms. Oh my Made of rubber. Rubber ball. And they, uh, at that time they didn't have any, any dresses, right? And they were so short. they use so. skin. Skin of the jaguar, skin of the deer. Oh my gosh. Feathers the, from the quetzal bird. And the winners, you think the opposite, but the winners get sacrificed. Because it's an honor to because be sacrificed. Yeah. Go That's figure. Cool. So sometimes the game he last he said seven days. They had to respect the rules of the game. If they did not respect her, they were punished. The punished there will be no harvest. They had to respect the rules. Oh. Yes. How often did they play this game? About twice a year. Oh, it's like it was a yes, oh. maybe it's 24th of March or 22nd. Oh, okay. Of so there is a date too sure when is. they did it. The winner teams becomes becomes upper class. 
Mm. And okay. the loser teams becomes laborers, esclavos. Okay. But do they, does everybody get sacrificed from the team? No, only the captain. Only the captain. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> One, two. But did they all have a little rocket? Three. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven players. Ah. Look what he's holding here. Oh, that's so they... Dagger, dagger. The loser, Captain, sacrifices the winner. <gasps> oh my here gosh. Here is the winner here. Like this, kneeling down like this. Oh yeah, with the head. No yeah. head, without head. It's, the head, it's here. It's right there. If they played like a week, would they sleep at night or would they play all night? Yeah. He, he sleep at night. Oh, uh, like this. How many times does that song contact? Seven. Yes. Do you know why seven? Because seven players. Sure. Seven players on each side, seven blood, seven meters high, seven days a week, seven colors the rainbow, and in the years of 2007, in the month seven, at seven o'clock at night, it was named one of the new wonder of the modern world. Oh my seven, God! Seven's lucky. Yes. Seven is the number. One of the new seven wonders. Now we get the. It be not too much. This. Yeah. Now we're doing the traditional paparazzi photo. Paparazzi beach, Maya. Maya and paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> proud of myself right now because look at the amount of people that are at the entrance now because mommy said let's go early let's go when it opens that way we don't find a crowd and I was right and mama knows guess something yeah, mama knows best yeah um, so something cool we kept on seeing was that we were hearing all these wow sounds and we thought like I thought there was some sort of like dog with a sore throat or some sort of cat um, but really, they're just people. They make these flutes that sound like leopards, and we just saw someone who, who had the. Uh, I mean, no, flutes that sound like jaguars. Um, and there's even the one we just saw now, the wolf flute that sounds like a wolf. Stop. Where are we going? To the cenote now. We found the cenote close to uh, Chichen Itza. What's a cenote? It's a. The name is Hich Kill. It's actually it's an underground um, water. Yeah, underground river, but they feel all the cover they were at that time of the Mayan, they were here. And they were using it actually uh, to bring it and move stuff from one place to another because they are all connected. And this river goes, it said, miles in this valley the all around. Yeah. yeah. So here we go. Oh, look, it's already there. This is the first part. The favorite part of his tour. Wow. I think we found it. Yeah. No. Wow. Okay. Okay, now we took a shower. We are ready. Let's go. Okay, so you walk down. Oh, he is. Look, is definitely <laughs> excited oh, now. Thank you, Emma. You're I did fall yesterday, so. We are really worried about mommy. Oh, we got really on. scared. <laughs> because we love mommy. We cannot do this one without mommy. <laughs> Guys, it's amazing. The water is colder. <laughs> oh, look how many fish. Look at all the fish. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Look at it, Dad. There's 
Meters. It says right there, look. Come and float with me. Oh, oh. oh yes, that's it. Do 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 do. Are you happy now? Yeah. Okay, good. We should touch the bottom. Yeah, good luck. Let's go 50 meters down. <laughs> Do you I like it? Yeah. Does it feel good? <laughs> yeah. So in order to go inside the chinote, you have to wear the life jacket. It's not such a bad thing because you can just float. <laughs> You can make a video. It's a lazy moment. You just enjoy it. You can't hang around these um, around here. They will That's whistle possible. at That's you. Uh huh. Um, so you just kind of come here, chill, and then go back to the heat of town. If you stay still enough, you like, it feels like you're warm. It feels that way, but then it's not. Look, I already got out. He's cold. Emma, Emma went to keep him company but she says she's not cold but <laughs> she is Cosimo is frozen there there it, there is a big difference between the water in here and also on the beach right I have one tip I want to share before we go to the next destination so if you're not scared of driving in a foreign country um, sometimes it's actually cheaper to rent a car and go by yourself at a place you want to visit like a, a tourist location so we went to Chichen Itza they asked us a lot of money to use the regular tour especially because we are a family of five and we decided to just rent a car, go to Valladolid and stay there a couple of nights so we could actually see the town a little bit more, go to Chichen Itza and go and swim in the um, Chinotes, which is all things that were part of the tour. But we spent half, less than half. No, less than half. Less, well, half if you consider that we stayed extra nights instead of just staying one, night, one day. Uh, we enjoyed it more because we took our time and it was just cheaper. So sometimes, and oh, and, and it was fine. Driving was fine, the car is great, everything was perfect. So sometimes it is much better to do it yourself than to go with a tour group. That's my tip of the day. And, and Namas has another tip. She's right. And I'm right. <laughs> okay, next destination, surprise. You'll have to keep on following to find out. Everybody! Wait, don't they already know our destination? Happy Mother's Day! Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day! Although you're gonna see the video when it's not Mother's Day anymore, but what? it's okay. But today is Mother's Day. But today is Mother's Day when we filmed it. Luca, say hi. Hi, hi, bye, bye. Bye, Luca. Happy bye, Mama. <laughs>